Okay, positional video. Um, so a lot of people have been trying to do major angles, almost like boxing and kickboxing, which does work um, to a point. But MMA is very movement oriented. And, uh, one of my beliefs, it's or movement oriented because it's very difficult to block everything in the small gloves. Um, and there's a lot of things to worry about, like takedowns and, and weight distribution that is different from your basic boxing and kickboxing. So the angles aren't actually there because everybody's fighting at a different range. They're fighting slightly out of range instead of staying in range. So what that means is if you step to your right on the outer range, say like two feet, and try to get a little angle, all they have to do is a very slight turn. It takes them milliseconds to turn and face you. So those big angles you're trying to get are not as useful in MMA as they are in boxing or kickboxing. The closer you get to someone's body, that same two foot step that you did on the outside is a much bigger angle. So it's different if you're like slipping punches while coming in and getting an angle or doing a duck under. It's a little bit different the closer you get to range. So mixed with the basic meta movement, just punching while making the steps, you can change your angle slightly and they won't even know. Max Holloway talks about this all the time. You want to do things to distract them from what you actually intent is. And that was getting slightly to the right or slightly to the left. Two things happen that increases my chances of getting a successful attack at the end. That also decreases the chance that they'll hurt me. If I'm slightly out of their frontal cone of damage, then I'm okay. So little movements is what counts. If you can hide it through punches, even better. Just slide around the big. It's quick turn. They're there. So think little. Think very little. Boom, boom, boom. Slight angle out and then go again. Little changes. Little changes, but a lot of them. Yep. Difficult for somebody to turn when they're base to defend themselves. So throwing a punch or anything, just progressing forward, gets them to rather base or move. If they move, it is what it is. You're out of range. If they base to rather attack or defend, guess what? They can't move. So pre-plan in your head to throw the attack while moving. You'll get to that angle before they do. They have to adjust. While they're adjusting, you're hitting that attack. You have to practice this, though. It's not something you could just think of and do it. You just have to build it into a habit, just like everything else in the videos I made. You have to practice, practice, practice until it just flows. Something you don't have to think about. And then just a little bit of clinch play. Got some Russian ties and also some uh, basic uh, clearing the arms. All right, that's the end. Thanks.